We will show you the different ways to ensure disaster preparedness during earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. What is disaster preparedness? Why it is important to be prepared? Disaster preparedness must go beyond emergency relief and life-saving action and should begin with mitigation and prevention that includes a combination of environmental, social, and economic aspects. But there is one thing that we can do, prepare. So I prepared an acronym for the word prepare. P is for pray. Pray for peace of mind. Letter R. R is for respond. Respond immediately to your current situation. E is for evaluate your location and your immediate need. Another P is for prioritize you and your family's safety. A is for accept the fact that disasters are natural. R is for realize that it's better to be prepared. And the last E Evacuate if needed. Earthquake. Sudden shaking of the ground caused by the passage of seismic waves through earth rocks. These are the different types of disaster preparedness when an earthquake occurs. Before an earthquake. Number 1. Know your risk. Research the area and find out if you live near an active fault line. Number 2. Create a disaster plan. Earthquakes preparedness can help reduce anxiety and minimize injury. Teach your family members to cover strategy. Number three, prepare a emergency kit. During an earthquake, number one, stay away from hazard. One of the biggest hazards during an earthquake is falling debris and furniture. Number two, take cover in a safe place. Take this three step when you feel the ground shake. Drop, cover, and hold. Stay inside. Do not go outside until the shaking stops. After an earthquake, be prepared for aftershocks. This can last for days or even weeks after a major earthquake. Number two, check your gas lamp. Make sure there are no leaks. If you smell gas leaking, turn it off if possible. Number 3. Stay out of damaged buildings. Earthquakes are an unpredictable catastrophe, so we need to be prepared at all times. Volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption happen when lava and gases are discharged from a volcanic vent. These are the different ways to ensure disaster preparedness when a volcanic eruption occurs. Before the explosion. Number one, know the disaster happened and other emergency happened. Number two, prepare a go back in case of evacuation. During a volcanic eruption, number one, use an N95 dust mask. Number two, protect your skin and eyes. Number three, secure your pets. Number four, stay tuned to the news. Number five, cover food and water containers to avoid contamination with ash. Number six, wash all utensils. Number seven, stay away from the river or stream to avoid lahar flow. After the eruption, do not leave your home or indoor shelter until notified by local government that it's safe to do so. During an eruption, volcanoes can release vast amount of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide. If you encounter a cloud of pure carbon dioxide, you can suffocate without air. Other volcanic gases are poisonous and people have been killed by acidic gases. Tsunamis. Tsunamis can kill or injure people and damage or destroy buildings and infrastructure as waves come in and go out. A tsunami is a series of enormous ocean waves caused by earthquakes, underwater landslide, volcanic eruption, or asteroids. Before an earthquake or tsunamis, 
Number one, if you live near or regularly visit the coastal area, learn about the risk of tsunamis in the area. Learn the signs of a potential tsunami, such as an earthquake, a loud roar from the ocean, or unusual ocean behavior. During tsunamis Number one, if you are in the tsunamis area and there is an earthquake, then first protect yourself from the earthquake. Number two, when the shaking stops, if there are natural signs or official warning of a tsunami, then move immediately to a safe place as high and as far inland as possible. Leave immediately if you're told to do so. If you are in the water, then grab onto something that floats. If you are in a boat, then face the direction of the waves and head out to the sea. If you are in a harbor, then go inland. After tsunamis, number one, avoid wading in flood water. Number two, be aware of the risk of electrocution. This is the different kinds of preparation during a disaster. Being prepared can reduce fear and the impact of the disaster.